Hi everyone, my name is Vadim and today we're gonna speak about one of the fastest growing uh, technology in the mobile development industry, which is of course React Native. If you are new to mobile development or you are already an experienced developer and want to get into React Native, watch this video till the end to learn more about the technology, uh, if it's safe to use it in production environments and if you should start learning it in 2020. Let's get started. React Native is a JavaScript framework for writing real uh, natively rendered uh, mobile application for iOS and Android. It uses React.js at core, uh, which is the Facebook's library for uh, rendering um, user interfaces, uh, but instead of targeting the browser, it targets mobile platforms. In other words, web developers can now write truly native mobile application that look and feel uh, like every other native application on the market, uh, and also, because you are writing uh, JavaScript, uh, the code can be shared easily between platforms and you have one Hello? Okay. Plus, because most of the code can be easily shared between platforms, uh, you can easily uh, develop simultaneously for iOS and Android. A clear advantage of using React Native is that uh, it allows you to develop a native mobile application without uh, having to learn uh, Objective-C, Swift, Kotlin or Java. Apps can be developed for Android and iOS, as I already mentioned, and also it can be developed for Windows Phone, uh, virtual reality headsets, uh, and more recently tvOS. Similar to React.js for web, uh, React Native application is written uh, using a mixture of JavaScript and JSX. Then, under the hood, uh, React Native Bridge invokes native rendering APIs in Objective-C and Swift for iOS and in Java for Android. This way, uh, your React Native application will be rendered using real native UI elements. In this way, it will look and feel just like any other native uh, mobile application. Also, it exposes uh, JavaScript interfaces to access the platform-specific features and API uh, such as uh, camera and user location. This is the biggest advantage of React Native and what makes it stand out for uh, the other methods for developing cross-platform mobile application such as Ionic and Cordova. Existing methods of writing mobile application uh, using a mixture of HTML, JavaScript and CSS uh, typically uses web views to render its content and while this can uh, work for some cases, uh, this definitely comes with its drawbacks uh, and usually that's performance. Another big advantage of React Native is the huge community around it and that's uh, very important for new developers because it will be easier to get started, uh, to find answers for your questions, to find tutorials and other resources. Every year React Native becomes more and more mature and in 2020 uh, React Native has been around for already 5 years and it's already a very robust uh, technology to use in production environments. For product and business owners it represents a very interesting opportunity how to unify development teams, uh, how to increase the velocity of them and how to reduce the cost of the projects. At the beginning, we saw React Native only used by startups uh, to build their first MVP or for some simple uh, single pages mobile applications. However, as time passes by, we see more and more robust and complex uh, application built uh, using React Native. And some of these examples are Instagram, Bloomberg, the Tesla app, Coinbase, uh, Salesforce and a lot more uh, applications. So, as we can see, React Native is an exciting framework that allows web developers to create uh, complex and robust mobile applications uh, using their existing knowledge in JavaScript. It offers faster mobile development and a more efficient code sharing between platforms like iOS, Android and web without sacrificing the end-user experience or the quality and performance of application. That's it for today guys, thanks a lot for watching till the end and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know down below what you think about React Native and if you have any experience with it. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell because the next videos will be about React Native and more hands down experience with it. And as always guys, take care, stay hydrated and write clean code. Bye bye.